the monsoonal rain has arrived and it really feels like summer is here. It's so wet and with all the farm jobs we felt like we kind of needed a break. But we can't take a real break because all the animals still need caring for. So we decided to come down and camp in the treehouse instead. Julia's off doing the animals now and I'm having a cozy sleep in. It's so beautiful down here. And all night the rain falls on the tin roof and the frogs are so loud at this time of year. Some summers are wet and some are dry and this week the rain arrived and announced it's going to be a very wet season. I'm excited because it means a summer full of floods and waterfalls and jumbu and jackfruit and all sorts of incredible summer things. The goats love it when we stay down here. They invite themselves in and get cozy, bouncing everywhere. For breakfast, we're having a zucchini and herb savory pancake. We have so many eggs and fresh vegetables we picked from the garden yesterday. We're so excited for Kamakoto Knives to be sponsoring this video. Kamakoto make great Japanese steel kitchen knives using traditional techniques from Japan. Kamakoto only use steel sourced from mills in Japan and each blade is crafted using techniques that have been honed and perfected by generations of knife smiths. Each knife comes in a beautiful heavy duty ashwood box. It makes sure that the knife is stored safely and it also makes Kamakoto a great gift. Nobody tell our mum but we're going to get her a set for Christmas. Each knife is individually inspected. Kamakoto is so confident about their knives that each knife comes with a lifetime guarantee. The knives are so beautiful and heavy in our hands and they are so sharp. It's incredibly satisfying chopping through fresh vegetables and I can't believe the precision. Kamakoto have a big sale going on and are offering an extra 50 US dollars off any purchase you make with our discount code Mountain Farm. That is $50 off using our code Mountain Farm. It's so amazing. All the eggs, veggies and herbs come from our garden or the neighbor's farm. It's all so fresh and juicy. We've never actually made this before and we just sort of threw everything we had together, but it tastes so good. Sometimes the garden chooses your meal and eating what's in season always tastes so great. There's a break in the shower, so to celebrate the changing seasons, we're adventuring up to the waterfall to see how much it's flowing after all the heavy rain.
After all the rain, it is flowing so much. The water is raging and flows all the way from the tall mountains above. <laughs> there are sandpaper figs. These are a native small fig that grow by creeks. Back at the cabin, the goats have made themselves at home. While the big goats go off to forage, little bird likes to hang out with us. Babysitting this little sweetheart is our favourite job. He's spoilt and gets cuddles from Julia everywhere she goes. Over the year, the sides of the road have filled with fallen leaves, gravel and pine needles. Because there is so much rain forecast, we need to clean them out so that the water doesn't get stuck. Otherwise, the water will pool and wash the road away and we'll have no way out. It is such an intense job. Got the whole trailer with all sorts of stuff from the gutters so that's good because there's a hundred mil forecast for tonight so that's gonna be crazy and we're excited we can use this for compost but I am so dirty now so I'm gonna go for a swim to clean off <laughs> It's so hot and humid, and in this kind of weather, we can just jump in and out of the water all day. But it can get cozy at night still, so I'm treating myself to a hot bar.
So this is our off-grid hot water system. It's a bit, it's a bit dodgy. We made it ourselves, and it's got copper pipe that comes down from. There's a big tank up there, and then the pipe comes down and zigzags underneath the coals. So then the coals heat the water, and because hot water rises, all the water goes to the top of the tank, and then the cold water comes down and reheats, and so the whole tank gets warm. And then all the hot water is at the top, and we've got a pipe at the top that goes across to our bath that we then put on, and hot water comes straight out of the taps, which is really cool. But it takes a while, and we've still got some problems with it. It doesn't always work, and it's very slow. So we boil water as well, and then that way we can have a full bath. The days we spend here are so relaxing. We sit and read for hours, while the goats play, the water heats and the food slowly cooks. The silence is incredible to witness, to just sit still in the quietness and enjoy the simplicity of living amongst nature. Maggie is intrigued by fire, but Bird just wants to bounce back and forward on the rocks. Fern, who is normally the most civilized and chill goat, decides to join in the fun. We're having zucchini and avocado from the garden, tempeh and rice.
The music in this video is by Sylvie, an LA band whose timeless music makes us feel nostalgic for summers past by the water. Their name, Sylvie, refers to a forgotten song from the past. You can find their links in our description. Thank you for watching. It means so much to us. Please like and subscribe. Thanks to our patrons, we are so grateful.